Hello everyone, welcome back to Ray's Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2, where I'm going to flight test a space shuttle that I used in the ISS construction, and we are going to see what happened with the patch and what exactly I need to do to fix it. Now, first of all, our center of mass and center of lift are much different than they used to be. And uh, to some extent, the center of lift is sort of where I would expect it to be given the placement of the wing, right? Uh, basically, you expect it to be thereabouts on the wing. So maybe it's moved to where it ought to have been in the first place. And we need to move the wing up. That's one supposition. But I don't necessarily trust the markers now any more than I trusted them before. So we'll probably fly... Uh, I'll shift it up. So this is exactly the shuttle that I used in the ISS save. I pulled it into a new save. So this is a new save, but it's the same craft file. And I haven't tweaked it until now, and I will tweak it. I will move that wing up, because it does seem like that gap is too much. Well, it, uh, the markers moved. That's always a good sign. Um, we could also reduce the size of the body flap, potentially. But, you know, they're supposed to cover the wings. Uh, not the wings, the engines. They're supposed to cover the engines, so... Um, I'll leave that be. I say they because it's not just one body flap, there's two there. Okay, I'm going to use jet engines to see how it flies, but we don't want the center of mass to change. There's nothing in the bay right now except for the docking port arrangement. This is all exactly like it would be uh, when it lands. So there's no monopropellants right now. We usually drain that before touchdown anyway. And we don't have any cargo. Everything is exactly like it would be when it lands. And we're going to make sure that the jets are right on the center of mass that it had before. And we are using these uh, Panther engines. It's interesting, the Panther engines stats, they're lighter than the Weasleys. Uh, and they produce less thrust apparently, but I guess not in afterburning. So, yeah. We'll see how it works, but I'm sure we'll have enough thrust. The Weasleys would have enough, well, the Weasleys definitely have enough thrust. But this should have more than enough thrust to get off the runway. So, yeah, but that's still a big gap for the shuttle. The shuttle usually has the center of mass, like, right here. But then, it wouldn't look much like the shuttle, right? Uh, well, we could probably get the wing sweep a little bit different. We could make the wing longer. Uh, we'll do that if we have to. So, just the first note is we've moved the wing up. And then we'll see how it goes. Of course, this is a little bit heavier than normal with the jets, but... It's already gone bad, it says. Hold on. Oh, we didn't put any kerbals on, and we're facing the wrong way. It looks like the landing gear needs to be shifted, huh? I wonder why I thought that the thing had been destroyed or something. Anyway, revert. Um, structural linkage between flux and cargo. Vessel destroyed. I'll have to review that, but hold on a sec. Hold that thought. Camera, ground, please. This is a new save. Uh, it's a, it's a new save to the version. But the shuttle is moving without us being able to focus on it. Uh, maybe I shouldn't use the old craft file. This save was used for the interplanetary transfer tutorial. The flux is the wing. Maybe these guys interfere with the little strut that connects to the wing. We've got two tons of methane there. Maybe I need to strut that too, because it fell off or something. Okay, now the engine pods are strutted. Okay, that seemed to have worked. Okay. Uh, engine pods might have smashed into the wing or something. And we have Bill Kerman. Alright. Well, it's already moving. We better get started. Okay, so first of all, we see that different wing parts seem to be doing different things. Um, these are doing the right thing, those are doing the wrong thing. So the metamorph, those outer metamorphs are doing the wrong thing, but... Uh, we are having a little bit of trouble here. 
Right. Oh, we'll revert to launch. So these outer ones, I'm I'm actually going to have them not do pitch and only do roll and see if they do roll right. Maybe when we inverted them, it messed up the roll there. Okay, we're off. Of course, these are torching the wing and everything, but let's not talk about that. The drag this has is formidable. It's a lot more drag than this ought to have. We have a lot of thrust, actually. Yeah, I don't even feel like we're going fast enough to do any maneuvers, really, right now. Uh, let's just make sure we can roll, I suppose. But yeah, not much of a flight envelope right now. Basically, we've got a small number of meters per second to work with between our stall speed and our max speed right now. I never come in from this side though. Maybe I should come in from the C side. Let's go around it and come in from the C. But I don't know if I can even turn off the jets to make a landing like the shuttle lands, you know, without any engines. Right now the jets don't seem to be able to get this to a high enough altitude to start us off like that. Maybe we'll try different engines, the whiplashes or whatever. Engine mode cruise. Oh, there's an, the afterburner mode is separate. Right. Okay, there's the afterburner mode. Well, that's better. Not a lot better. To be honest, I don't know if it's doing that much more. Maybe if we pick up speed, then it'll keep speed better. Or maybe it'll just plunge into the ground. No, it doesn't keep speed at all. Yeah, it's sort of painful to fly right now. Now, we were loaded up with extra mass, both the engines and the fuel, so it's heavier than normal. I mean, we're not visibly using much of the pitch controls right now. So it's sort of balanced. Just with the wing shift and the... Uh, oh, really just with the wing shift. We put a gear shift as well. Maybe we should make the wing longer, though. Of course, uh, we have limited pitch control right now because we're only using these inner ones for pitch. We're not using the outer ones for pitch at all. So that limited pitch control is not ideal. Okay, we actually need to turn. We never really got beyond... Much much beyond ground level is all like... Uh-oh. Put the gear down and now it's... Now it's iffy. Ah... Uh, it wants to lean to the right for some reason now. But maybe that's because we're just so slow. I can't even see the runway, we're so low. No, not yet, not yet, not yet. No! 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 Oh, it wants to set the... Oh, it, it crashed. Uh, linkage between the flux and the cargo. Again, so that's the wing and the cargo. No, evolution is a heavy wing. Metamorph, flux is the light wing. Okay, flux is the light wing. That's what I have on the inside. So it just doesn't have much impact tolerance, so it keeps getting ripped off. It's only got 15 meters per second. I should maybe consider using the medium wing instead. But then, it seems like the medium wing has the controls messed up. So, what it seems like is, it works right for roll, 
but for pitch, it's inverted. So if you use invert controls, it'll work for pitch, but then not work for roll to make. But otherwise, it seems like the flux is too weak now. So I'll have to replace it with uh, the metamorph, and then the inner ones will have to do the pitch, and we'll invert those controls. So let's test that out. Oh, the wing angle can't go far enough back is the problem. Well, maybe if we just increase the tip length. But I can't get a number between 0.2 and 0.3. I can't click that field to make a, add a number. No, that's not really what I want. Maybe we should just add more struts to the flux one, because that's not going to look right. Alright, so what I'm going to do is we're going to try and fit more powerful engines to test out the shuttle so that I can get to a decent velocity and we can approach the runway properly. Um, it's a shock that the Panther is not sufficient though. So, whiplash engines. I think increasing the wing size a little bit might help. We can increase the wing roots a little bit. But now the lift vector is pointing in a weird direction I don't understand. So we now have a longer wing that brings the center of lift closer to the center of mass, but I mean, it doesn't look great. <laughs> Maybe if I make this longer too. Uh, yeah, it's got a heftier wing, more than it should have. But, we'll try it out. Let's strut some stuff. Okay, lots of struts on the wing now. This flux doesn't need to be inverted, because it's a flux, not a metamorph. So it goes the right way, presumably. Let's see, yes. Alright. So, again, the metamorphs go the wrong way on pitch, but only on pitch as far as I can tell. Well, it's not pulling up as easily now, but we're, we have heavier engines, so... I guess these also have afterburning. No, it doesn't seem like they have afterburning. There's no, no special thing. Just always afterburning. I'm presuming here that the yaw works right with the rudder. We've got a transition that's a totally different thing. Now it is heavier again. I'll go for the outer runway. We'll uh, cut engines there. And pretend we're a shuttle. Again, heavier than normal, so it'll be different. Yeah, it's really slowing down a lot more than it ought to. Maybe I should have had closed intakes on an action group if, it, if that's possible in this version, I don't even know. Will I be able to pull up? Oh, too early. Shoot. Now we're going to not be able to pull up very well. Ah, uh, uh, Structural linkage between the metamorph and flux, and the flux and the cargo bay vessel destroyed. Well, I guess it was. Hmm. Yeah, so in this version, trying to use the shuttle... It's difficult. <laughs> um... What can I say? It seems like the wings like to break off a whole lot. And of course we found out the problem with the medium wing, which people had told me about on the shuttle videos, the previous shuttle videos as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna wait maybe for the next batch before using winged shuttles and re-entry vehicles again. Because we've had trouble with the return booster that had wings, right? It doesn't want to revert. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap it up here. Yeah, well, we'll do some flight testing with regular planes and see how it goes. But with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.